Crazy in Love, Episode 5 with Blueface and Krishan Rock. So they doing laundry on the banister yet again, and Zeus is so shady. They know what they're doing showing that. So they're in the kitchen, and Krishan has a new face tattoo, Jonathan, across her eyebrow. And he asks her, you know, how does it feel to have your face hit? Now, when he asked her that, I think I got PTSD from the last episode because I was so triggered from when she was actually hit in the face. And she's just like, it's nothing. I don't think nothing of it. I just love you. Of course, you don't think it's nothing because you already got two portraits of blue face on your neck already. Plus a little Barbie doll blue face hanging on your neck. Krishan, I'm going to need you to calm down with your expression of love for Blueface because you got us other girls out here looking bad. I be asking, dude, how did you sleep? Did you eat? And that be my way of expressing love. So, girl, calm down. I don't want this man expecting too much from me. So, Blueface asks her if she's ready to close the chapter of the mom and sister beef. And she's asking him, like, what is this for them to be around us? Are we going to be back family after this? And his response was, hell nah. Just so we won't be awkward if you see them out. Now, if you don't know, Krishan gave the mama a black eye and knocked the piss out the sister and basically, they put the husband to sleep. They gave him the Benadryl slash NyQuil beating. It was so bad, they split up after this. So they going back and forth about how the whole situation started. And I don't care. I don't care. Your girl should not be putting hands on your mama, point blank, period. But the ghetto girl in me, you know, I can see her and the sister kind of going back and forth. But mom's is off limit. He just seemed too cool with the whole situation. So Krishan tells him that he doesn't have any emotions and that he acts like a robot and that she can't wait until she becomes a robot. And he's like, yeah, neither can I. And she tells him, well, when I come a robot, I'm not going to have no emotions and I'm going to unalive everybody, including you. So then he says, did you just threaten me on national TV? Um, Blue, this is not national TV. This is just Zeus an exploitive app on the internet but anyhow yes that's what she did like we've been trying to tell you you have not noticed the red flags so like the cycle she is she tell him oh that's not a threat it's a promise and he goes and tell her well not unless i unalive you first y'all it's like we are witnessing the premeditation of unalivement on both parts these two they don't like each other they really don't like each other and we are literally watching it play out right before our eyes on this show and also on social media so they decide to meet up at their little fish spot blues fish and soul and krishan and blueface they got there early so blueface decides to facetime them like you know where y'all at? We here already. We waiting on y'all. So the mama, the sister, and the brother, they finally roll up to the little spot. And, you know, you can tell it was kind of like awkward for all of them when they first came in because they had the little silly little grins on. And they're like both parties are like exchanging little pleasantries. And then the brother get right to it. But the only thing I kept thinking about is, girl, did you empty your bladder? So everything is all good. And like I said, the brother gets right to it he like so why she didn't get a fair one why y'all up there packing old ladies out and beating up on women like you could fight her with all your home girls and Krishana's like why are you even talking so the sister started getting a little roderated because her brother was there and basically you could tell the brother he wanted to he wanted them to fight he was giving very much a let's go for round two. He even had his little poo shysty little face covering on. You could tell he was ready to do the thing. So they was doing a whole bunch of back and forth. He even said that it was men and women who had jumped his sister, that they was packing the sister and the mama out, which I don't think they was packing the mama out. But anyhow, he started calling Blueface scary, calling Krishan scary, where the mama had to kind of like calm him down. And Blueface, you could tell they, they was ready to do the thing. 
So they just kept on with the back and forth. The brother was talking big mess, steady calling her scary, saying that the sister need a fair one. I was to the point like, man, is y'all going to fight or what? Krishan telling him talk to the brother. So the security finally come out. I'm like, yes, let's do this. So then Krishan stood up and y'all already know what that mean. Then the sister got a little turned up. But then the mama got up and she started talking and talking and talking to the point where Krishan got up and walked out. And honestly, I was ready to walk out with her. But then the mama asked Blueface a question and I sat back down because she asked him, well, did you know she was going to put hands on me? And he said, well, not to that extent. Wait, what? So you you was OK with that? He told his mama, well, I thought you was going to defend yourself. <laughs> did she have a belt on? Because if she did, she should have took it off and beat him. Matter of fact, she should have got one of the security guard belts, the real security belts, and just went upside his head at that very moment. But the brother, he was over there taking it all in. So I was chill. So she sat back down. And y'all, why the mama gonna say, you are my son. And if you disrespect me, I will slap the ish out of you every time. Uh, Ma'am, the lie detector test determined that that is a lie. Because you, you, it don't seem like he ever got whoopings in his life. Except from Krishan. I mean, but you know. So this whole conversation was like really draining me. I got tired of listening to all the arguing in the back and forth. I started feeling like the brother, like, cuz, is y'all gonna fight or not? So security had to come and calm me and the brother down. Well, not me, but just the brother, but I was feeling the brother. So the brother tell Blueface, I'll beat you up anytime, any place. And Blueface jumped up, so they started going back and forth like they was gonna fight. Security was like in between them. And you know, I I, I really feel like Blueface may beat his brother up because he been fighting Krishan. You know, she like a whole man. And the sister, she going to say, you acting like a bee. And Blueface going to tell her, you already got beat up, so shut up. So everybody start popping it real hard because, you know, security then stepped in. So the brother saying his little stuff, Blueface saying his stuff, and everybody calms down. Now, somebody was instigating because the mama was like, this is family. If you be quiet and stop instigating, let them talk. This is family. And it was somebody from Zeus Network talking. I told y'all they messy. So they had they come to Jesus, kumbaya, cry moment. And everybody seemed cool. So Blueface, he apologized to his mama, his sister, his brother. He told his brother, like, you know, I don't want to be, like, enemies with you or anything like that. So the family seemed like, you know, they got it together and they was ready to be a family again, with the exception of Krishan hanging on him, which the mama had a problem with. Blueface said he hadn't got an apology and the mama said she couldn't apologize because the beast behind him kept laughing like it was a joke. She also called her an animal during the conversation, which I mean, come on now. I thought we were trying to get this stuff together, even though Krishan was acting like a little monkey grooming on Blueface. So Blueface gets up and he goes over and he hugs his mom and him and his brother have like a little play fight moment. It was cute or whatever, you know. So he hugged it out with his mom, his sister and his brother. So everything seems to be OK, you know. But the mama gets up and go over there and give Krishan a hug, which was so fake. Now, at this point, the episode really could have been over because I was personally over it. But they decided to do some one on ones with Blueface, Krishan, the mama and the sister, just like a whole little mixture of that. And child, Krishan looked like she had just rolled out of bed. But anyhow, they get there, you know, they hug it out or whatever. Krishan really wasn't feeling them like that. You can just tell. So... They all sit down for a little bit and they talk and, you know, like a little fake chit chat or whatever. Then they decide they're going to break off into little groups. So Blueface outside talking to his mom and she's telling him how much she loves him. And Blueface is telling her that he loves her, too. And Callie and Krishan is in the house and they talking. And I was just like, oh, my God, like it was a struggle for me to watch it. It was like low key, just 
cringy like trying to get through this episode when I was already over this episode it was really hard for me y'all I ain't gonna even lie but I stuck with it for you guys so Blueface and his mama they outside having a cringy conversation and he tells her like if I want to have 10 women come over and they all do me at the same time you know basically you should respect it and leave then he told his mama that she wasn't his type of lady <laughs> Bruh, that's your mama, not one of your potential 304s. Blueface can definitely respect his mom a whole lot more than what he does. But, I mean, what can you expect from him? We already see how he treat ladies. So after watching this week's episode, I definitely need some type of therapy or counseling. And lucky for all of us, that is what next week episode is about. They go to like a little therapy session. Which honestly, at this point, is probably too late. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my playlist with all the Crazy in Love episodes. If you miss any of them. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye.